Hey y'all, I'm Kate with Salty Katie, and today I thought I'd show y'all what's in this pitifully overstuffed Delphonics pouch that I use primarily for journaling. Um, hey, if you're new here, my name is Kate. I'm a planner shop owner, and on this channel, I primarily uh, do videos about planning, productivity, and organization. So if that's your kind of thing, please hit that subscribe button and uh, come back so you can see more. So, like I said, I'm going to go, God, this thing's a mess. I'm going to go through what's in my, uh, I think this is a medium size uh, Delphonics utility pouch. Um, these are pretty popular. So, I'm going to tell you what's in the pouch and then my thoughts on the pouch as well. What's primarily on the outside of the pouch, I hope y'all can see it, is about uh, a quarter pound of cat hair. <laughs> <laughs> and bunny hair. I have two cats and two bunnies and this pouch stays in the living room. Um, I do most of my journaling in front of the TV. Um, this is not a work situation, you know. Uh, this is just all personal journaling stuff in here. So I keep it in the living room and just by virtue of sitting on the couch most of the time, it's collected up quite a bit of cat hair and bunny hair. So I have to take the, um, what do you call that roller thing with the sticky stuff on it? Y'all know what I mean. Take that and, and get the hair off, which maybe I should have done before the video. You know, maybe not. <laughs> so on the outside, I have this super cute little bear thing. This is a, uh, some kind of little keychain from a shop that uh, was called Momo Mints. I don't know if they're still out there. The last time I looked for them, I think the shop was shut down, but, uh, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. So that's on there. Uh, in the front pockets here, I've got a little small OmniGrid ruler for cutting washi tape and, you know, ruler purposes. I've got some of these super cute Straylit. No, I'm saying it wrong. S-R-A-L-I-T. Straylit? Straylit? page markers and a few different patterns. Um, I bought like six different ones. I got a little obsessed, you know, let's move on. Um, these are some little cutter bee scissors. They're perfect for cutting sticky stuff because um, they're like little Teflon coated blades and they last forever. They're about 10 bucks a pair, which is a little high for scissors if you ask me, but they're small, um, sharp, and they work really, really well. Okay, and all the rest of this, <laughs> is fountain pens. Do not judge me. Do not judge me. <laughs> um, I will link up here my most recent fountain pen collection video for y'all to see. Let's just suffice it to say it's mostly Twisbees uh, with an occasional Moonman Wansai and one Conklin Duraflex uh, that I'm not currently getting along with. So there's all those out. Um, yeah, that's everything in the front pocket. So in the pouch here, I've got my journal. So this is ocean leather uh, from my shop with jelly pockets. And I've got some super cute little die cuts here. Um, God, let the name of the shop come to me. I'll come back to it. This is a Willa Wallaco washi card with some of her washi on it. I'm using a B6 Slim. Um, Nanami Cafe Note that I cut down to an A6 size. I really enjoy the paper, but the little grids are um, like 3.7 millimeters, so um, it's not my favorite. Uh, who knows what that sticker says right there, what that means, where that came from. So it's, um, I've <laughs> got some red bubble stickers on it. Um, yeah, just fun stuff mostly. So there's that. I've also got my uh, A6 five-year Hobonichi. Um, so this is the kind of thing that's just, uh, you know, a few little lines a day for five years. And things went really well up until the um, <clears throat> special events of 2020 started. And uh, then I kind of lost it, then got back on, and then lost it and got back on, whatever. It's, um, I'd say maybe... 40% of the year I've written in this, so I'm just going to keep keep writing in it. Uh, and then I've got these super cute little, um, 
what are these called? They're like little small plastic folders from Hobonichi and they are housing all different kinds of stickers that I use for journaling. Um, gosh, I've got everything from sushi stickers to cat stickers to um, stickers with ladies doing the ballet on it, um, just all kind of stuff in there. What else? Yeah. Oh, and here's some more um, page flags because, Jesus, I don't know. I have an issue with little, you know, little cute little things with sticky on the back. Okay, and then the next thing is this Canon IV printer. Um, this thing was cute. Um, that's about what I can say about it. Y'all let me know if you want me to do a full review on it, but just for time's sake, it was expensive for the quality of photo that you get out of this thing. Um, it does not use ink. It uses this special, again, really freaking expensive, uh, paper. Uh, it's little sticky back photos that it prints out, but the print quality, uh, 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 uh. No, I'm not, I'm not happy with it, but I'm scared to buy another one because this was $100. Um, so I, I've been using it, but dang, the little sheets of paper, I want to say are 50 cents each. That's bananas. I mean, they're like, oh, well, it doesn't use ink. Well, gosh, $25 for a 50 pack. Isn't that how the math works out? That's 50 cents a piece. I mean, come on, y'all. Uh, 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 uh. So, no, no, I would not purchase that again. I'm going to continue to use it until it dies, and then maybe I'll replace it with something else. Um, this is the size of a little photo it prints out, and it's got sticky back. You can pull it off and just stick it. Um, and the only reason I bought, I mean, I've got Canon printers uh, here in my office. I enjoy Canons. I think they print nicely. Um, but I didn't want to have to airdrop a photo off my phone to my big um, office printer and then have to format it and print it out and use photo paper and all that. And I thought, well, this is a good solution. I can just print from wherever I'm sitting, but the photo quality is so bad, y'all. Oh, it's bad. It's really, really bad. It's so dark that if you take photos inside, um, they're almost not usable, truth be told. Um, I've also got Ooh, yeah, some Fox and Cactus washi tape. Love it. She comes out with the best washi tape. Um, I've got some glitter washi tape and some MT, some gray MT washi tape here. I've got a tough break-resistant plastic eraser from Mono. I'm not really sure why that's in there because I rarely use a pencil. Uh, let's see, and this is just the junk from the bottom of the pouch. <laughs> um, there's some more page markers couple of gray mild liners, uh, Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel 0.7, uh, Pencil, uh, Stadler Tri Plus Fine Liner. Ooh, this is just light gray, and I use that in my, ooh, I threw it at myself. I use that in my um, bullet journal a lot of times, and it looks like maybe a kitty chew the end of it anyway uh, and this is just a white uniball signo if sometimes I put black post-it notes in the journal and then write on it with this white pen so yeah was that everything oh wait I have some more pockets now nah. oh there's some stuff in the back here so um, <laughs> these are some super cute fox and cactus stickers I've got here um, that I use in my journal um, <laughs> I enjoy her stickers because she has a fair number of them that are like attitude-y, like they reflect your, your attitude about maybe things that are happening. Yeah, so that's about it for the pouch. So, in closing, I if you put an appropriate amount of stuff in this pouch, I'm sure it'd work great. It's not large enough for the number of pens that I want to carry with me, though. I want to have all my pens available every time that I sit down and journal, because maybe I want to use a shimmery purple ink one day and uh, a green ink the next day. So this would work if you don't have as much crap as I have. Uh, and also, if you have pets, keep in mind that it will attract every hair that, that flows through the air of your house. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? 
I do think it's a well-made pouch. The zipper is nice, but again, um, I, I was not able to get my hands on a larger one. I think they have a small, medium, a large. I've actually got a small one in my purse. This is the medium, but I couldn't actually locate a large to buy. And even if I had, probably would have been prohibitively expensive. But anyway, so those are my thoughts. That's what's in my pouch. If you see any uh, anything here um, that you have a question about, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear it if you have sort of a, a journal bag set up, uh, if you do that kind of thing. So yeah, thanks for watching today, and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye!